All right, I'm going to quickly hit some of these last few windows that you're used to seeing in other programs, view, window, and help. Analysis, um, really here, there's only one tool I think that you're going to be using uh, that's very helpful. Well, one common tool under analysis. So I just pulled up any picture, it doesn't matter. And this is going to be the ruler tool, and it allows you to um, actually you can access this tool here ruler tool and under it is the counter tool and a few other tools but you can also get to it through analysis ruler tool <laughs> believe it or not so there's a little picture of a ruler there so basically if you needed to know how long a specific section of the image was you'd click and hold then you pull down to this point. Now you notice up here it shows you the exact um, width, height, um, the intersect points, the distance. See? See how all that changes when I'm moving? X to Y. So this gives you the exact coordinates and information on the screen where you're selecting. So if you wanted to create a similar object of the same length, um, you'd know it's exactly that long or that high or that place on the map. See, and it's similar to this info tab here where you're seeing the exact point. Your X, Y coordinates are moving. Your width, height would be moving if we were on the uh, ruler tool. Shows you the exact color wherever your pointer is. Yeah. Like it says, click and drag to move layer or selection. Use Shift Alt for additional options. Okay, so that's under analysis. There's also this count tool if you find this useful if you wanted to. One, it counts wherever you click. Three, four, five, so whatever you'd be keeping track of, you can use the count tool for. All right, view, you've seen this in many other applications. So basically, um, if you're gonna be printing, you can view your proof setup, your proof colors, your gamut warning. Zooming in and out, obviously a lot of these you can be doing from the toolbar over here. Fit to screen, there's one you might be using. Um, view the size in actual pixels. So it's a much larger picture in this case. Print size. All right. Screen mode, extras. Um, you can show the layer edges, the grid, if it helps you. Um, Ruler snap to. Snap to is very useful because um, it'll snap to the grid if you want to get an object perfectly aligned in a certain section. You use the snap to tool. Um, window. Now, if you want to know what's new with um, Photoshop CS3, this is a useful one over here under workspace we go to what's new in CS3, it'll say the selected workspace will modify menu and or keyboard shortcuts. Would you like to apply? Yes. So basically now when you click anywhere up here it's going to show you what's new and they'll be highlighted in blue and in each subsection you'll see what's in blue is what's new to CS3. And if you want to go back to the original workspace you can always just go default workspace which in itself is a new thing to Photoshop CS3. So workspace, we've dealt a lot with this in here. Keyboard shortcuts, we've dealt with um, reset the palette locations. That's if you're moving them all around and you don't can't get them perfectly back where they were. Um, now that we've reset the, the default workspace, you notice none of those blue highlights are there anymore. Okay, and this is what you want to, uh, what you're choosing to view over here in your palettes. So we could take the navigator away. See it just took it away. We can add other things to that palette area. 
styles, whatever you want to add to the palette section. You don't want your palette too full, but um, you can choose exactly which tools you use the most that you can put over there on your palettes. All right. And help. Photoshop help. We've gone through some of this. Um, system info, registration, activation, updates. Um, these are useful down here. They're quick shortcuts to how to create web pages, how to customize and automate things, how to fix and enhance photos, how to paint and draw, how to prepare art for other applications, how to print photos, how to work with color, how to work with layers and selections, how to work with type. These are some of the common questions. Um, click on it and you're brought directly to that in the Adobe Help Viewer. So just nice little shortcuts for you under Help.